Hey everybody, welcome back to Burkrew Studios Plays E4. I'm your host, Nems. We're back in our Brandenburg campaign. If you're liking the Brandenburg campaign, please drop a like down below. It helps out an immense amount. Um, and please comment and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, love the input. Love the feedback. Uh, we are continuing to get our Navy built up here now that we're a coastal country. Um, there's some internal HRE bickering going on over here. The Brunswick's in a war. The Lunaburg, uh, they're, def they're attacking Lunaburg, it looks like. And they're losing that war pretty handily. Um, I could try to enforce peace there. Um, if I want to preserve my, my ally, so to speak. Uh, let's see what that would look like. They would not do that because they have very little desire for peace. So who are you fighting? You're fighting uh, Lunenburg and Oldenburg. Is that their entire army? It is. And um, who are you fighting? You're fighting just Brunswick. Mm, that's hard because you know we might want to move into that land at some point, but having... An ally or two that's not super weak is always a good thing. We'll keep our eye on that over there. They just, they don't want peace though. <laughs> not even a little bit. Alright, so we got our claim on Teutons. And our, um, we got three more years on that truce. Mm-hmm. But once Lunaburg takes that province back, chances are they're going to go after... Um, they're going to make peace. I don't know what they're going to do. Or they're going to try to take over the rest of that country. So we'll see. Meanwhile, Oldenburg's going to get sieged down. Unfortunately, uh, Brunswick's not going to be able to siege that down quickly enough. Because there's no more forts in Brunswick. They're pretty much hosed. I still just have the one fort. I've taken all this land and I haven't taken a single fort. Which means I'm going to eventually have to build forts, which is unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and build some more barks. I like money. And um, we'll go ahead and take the admin tech right now. Because we're not uh, immediately doing any, uh, any land. I mean, we're going to get Konigsberg, but that's still three years away. Right, let's get our uh, diplos to work. Um, we will send them back to uh, Saxony to start working there. And then we're going to send them to Cologne. No, Palatinate maybe. We'll send them to the Palatinate, who is currently voting for Austria. We really need um, Saxony to flip their vote. They must be allied to Bohemia. They are. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm not going to add this to the Empire until I am the Emperor. Because it gives you uh, Imperial Authority. So I would prefer to have that for myself. Oh, man. So we're playing the Imperial game right now, which is fun. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can do on that front. Mm -hmm. Righty then. Do we want any more advisors? Probably not just yet. Get these boats to work. It's going to be a long time before we have any real trade power in this node because of Denmark and all the other guys. We're at 8% right now. Um, the more boats, the better. We just don't have... You know, We need to take Stetton, um, which we will at some point. Don't get me wrong. Um, and we need to take Lubeck to really be a player in this node at all. Back on the Imperial. We're getting close on Saxony. I think we might be able to flip them. If we can flip them, we'll have our three votes, and Bohemia and Austria will just have the one. Mm 
All right. So bear with me as I get through the this horrible peacetime. Uh, we are getting our manpower back slowly but slowly. Um, we're real close to that third vote. And as long as these guys, like, I don't care if they vote for Hessa or anybody else. Uh, as long as they're not close to voting for the, the people I hate. People I need to lose. So we just flipped Saxony. I think we still have, yeah, we still have 20 relations with them that we can improve. So now, unfortunately, Bohemia is now voting for Saxony. So Saxony is probably going to flip at the end of this next month. And they'll vote for themselves. Because that's what the AI does. Yep, whenever somebody votes for them, they start voting for themselves. So we're going to have to um, move away from them and look at someone else. So mines would take an alliance. Let's see what that does. So we definitely have too many Diplo relations now, and that's okay. Um... Brunswick got cut in half. That's unfortunate. When our marriage with them renew, uh, when one of the leaders dies, we will not renew that marriage. And then let's start improving with, was it mines that we just did an alliance with? Yeah. We still got a long climb to get to Hesse there. All right. Well, our air sucks. Our guy died. <laughs> so our, 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 our uh, whatchamacallit is a 201. So as soon as he comes of age, we'll, sh we'll drop him right onto the army. I'm going to take the leader off of there for now. Uh, get some more votes done. Let's get them into the trade node. All right. So uh, let's talk a little bit about some long-term plans here. Uh, oh, Bohemia is being invaded by Austria and Hungary. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Let's fabricate a claim on him real fast. Uh, mines, I'll be back in a hot minute here. Uh, Niederlausitz, yes. Um, so, Bohemia, how are you doing army-wise? 3,000 troops. Oh, man. I can't, I can't fabricate this claim fast enough. Do I still have that Conquer Cilicia campaign? Let's cancel this and see if I can get that. I don't want to say that gives me a, uh, a claim on uh, Glo Glogau or whatever. Pardon me. All right. Mm -hmm. So... Let's see here. We are going to just wait for this to finish. Which they might be fully seized by then. But here's the thing. If um, if Bohemia is a wreck and they have no army, we can just invade them. I mean, uh, with just we could just call Poland and say, yo, buddy, help us destroy Bohemia. That'd be great. Thanks. Because I want to say if Austria is rivals to them, they're less likely to um to ask for uh, unlawful territory. I think that's a thing. Don't quote me. All right. Slowly but slowly getting some extra men. I'm going to build see what kind of uh we're down to one cav, so I'm going to have to build cav. I got to wait just a bit. Yeah, cuz Bohemia is a wreck. Uh, Poland, do you have any claim? Oh, wow. Silesia just got cut out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what that war was. Either way, it's already over. Silesia just rivaled us. Well, that's fun. That's cute. Just declare war on you right now, buddy. 
I mean, Austria would help you because I don't have a claim, but... Um, let's fabricate. Now, we do need to be a little careful. Our um, coalition map mode is not insane, but it's still not nothing. I guess the only good news about uh, this part is um, there's a... Uh, whatchamacallit, there's a... Uh... Oh, man, my brain. Um, the the provinces are very low development, so the um, the chance of a coalition are a little lower here than they were down south, where the provinces are richer. Mm -hmm. All right, we just need some claims to finish up. See where Bohemia's army's at. 7,000 with 4,000 manpower. Who are your allies? Just Saxony. Alright, let's move down to Berlin at least. And we'll recruit a cav there. Yeah, there's still not much there. If I can call Poland in... I think that'll be a pretty easy war, even if Saxony decides to honor their call. Which, it looks like they won't. So, let's put uh, him back in there. You're on four, I'm on four, I'm almost at five. Um, God, I think we just do this. Good call Brunswick in, he's got six guys. Uh, how many favors do I have with Poland again? I don't really feel like wasting it. What I'll do is I'll 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 declare the war. Um I won't call anybody in right now. And I'll see if I can get to uh I'll see if I can get to their army before uh before they can rebuild it. Hmm. Uh, become emperor, eh? Uh, how's that going? Not terrible, not great. Yeah, let's let's choose that actually. All right, so do I want some prestige at the expense of uh, clergy or papal influence, or do I want? Oh gosh. No, I'll take the prestige. All right, so they're still at 4,000 guys. Um, if we can get this fort down uh, with some sort of speed, that would be nice. Um, how am I doing monetarily? I could take a quick loan just to get some troops. I'll hold off for now. They're probably going to mark up pretty quick, though. May just call these guys in. Got a lot of favors still. So yeah, let's just call them in. That way we can uh, speed this thing up. And it'll also... Um, oh boy. It'll also limit my risk. Alright, so let's pause. Alright, so Brunswick is requesting a Hessian con conquest of Braunschweig. Um, S, who are you fighting? Brunswick and Frankfurt. Oh, boy. Anhalt, Cleves, Mainz, Wurzburg. I think you're screwed, Brown, uh, Brunswick. So I'm going to decline this. Take the prestige hit. And um, once you die, we're going to end this marriage. Because I was planning on doing that anyway. So I can't do it right now because it cost me stability, but... At some point here, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. so he's sieging down the war goal. And hopefully flips it right to me, I would hope. Survey says? Yes, he does. Good good man. So now it's just a matter of sieging some this fort so that the this horde of uh, uh, 70,000 troops can get into Bohemia. That was definitely overkill, but I had so many favors with them, it just doesn't seem like it was a big deal. 
Alright, so we just took a loan. Oh, because we were reinforcing, maybe? They're just gonna hang out until we get this fort down, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, the burger's got some influence. We're still not really in a major... There's no major issues there. Um... Could start taking Diplo power and everything. I might do. How close are we from a tech perspective? So, I mean, I'm gonna take. Nah, I'm gonna wait on the military. How much does that uh, reduce? 20 loyalty. Now. Alright, so there's one. Now we'll tell. Um, we'll tell Poland and Lithuania to come in here and start doing some stuff. Moldavia. All you guys. Come on in. The water's warm. Go smash the Bohemian army. <laughs> better, better your uh, manpower than mine, because I need, I still need to recover manpower. On an unrelated note, our uh, our diplos have sort of started to go idle. Oh, that take a royal marriage, eh? Well, let's do this. Let's um, and I might do that just to, because there's a stability factor if they at uh, attack you when you have a royal marriage. Uh, France, let's go back to you. And there we go. There goes Bohemia's army. Done. Who did you ally with? Magdeburg. Well, I'm kind of okay with that. So let's see what this peace deal is going to look like. Uh, let's come back from Austria real quick. So we can easily take Niederlausitz. That won't piss anybody off. If I take this, um, yeah, that's that's probably too much. I could take Oberlausitz and Niederlausitz. I think I will. And humiliate and war reps. That's what we're gonna do as soon as we're able. Take the military tech. And we will do men at arms right now because we're not being the aggressor. I mean, we are, but we're we're standing on provinces sieging them, so <clears throat> no need to uh, to have the attack pips. <laughs> All right, that'll at least take care of the Bohemia factor fairly quickly here. We just gotta keep riding the razor's edge on um, uh, on things. We do need to get some uh, relations improved with our elector friends so that once we take this territory, we don't flip everybody's votes. And I can repay this loan, it looks like. But I'm gonna wait until the war is over. We just need to uh, siege down Prague. Oh, it shouldn't uh, take too much longer. I'll go ahead and speed up to speed four. Uh, we are only fighting Bohemia here, so there's not much to worry about. They're rebuilding their army a little bit, but as soon as we siege this fort down, um, Poland, Lithuania, will uh, they'll go take care of that problem. All right, one in three chance, just about there. Uh, there goes the royal marriage with Brunswick. That's good. That frees up a relationship slot. We're back down to four. We're not losing that. Uh, we're not losing that point anymore. And there goes Prague. And there goes the hordes, the hordes of Poland, Lithuania. All right, so we've capped out with them. The royal marriage with Saxony ended, but we'll want that. Well, I don't know if we want that back. They are voting for us right now, so I guess we do want that. Okay, yeah, you'll offer it. How old am I? Yeah, you offer it. That's fine. All right, so they're going to finish that army up, and then we'll be at 100% war score. So I'm going to head back to Berlin. And um, let's get this peace deal done. So now they're suddenly on board. Uh, do they have any claims in anyone I care about? Hungary, Nuremberg, Würzburg. They don't. Treaties, don't care. Um, 
Yeah, let's do it. All right. Core it and pour it. Thanks a lot, Poland. You're the best. Love you much. Sorry, Austria. I mean, don't don't hate me for this. Because I love you. I love you so much, Austria. Yeah, let's get them on hostile so they'll take a royal marriage. Uh, we'll go ahead and tech up in Diplo. And, um... Yeah, we're getting a little bit of we got a little bit of money from that war. Uh, more importantly, we we got rid of basically the major rival we had in the area. That's really what's important there. Uh, nobility. Boy, there is no, no, no military. I've got crap military development everywhere somehow. That's a pretty good one actually, but that's it. Got the burgers right now. So I'm tempted to. So let's do this, and it's going to piss them off for just a minute, and then we'll give them some coast. Uh, except all the coast sucks so much they don't want to... Oh, Danzig, you should love Danzig. I should love you loving Danzig. Trade power, 33.6. Why would I not give that to the burgers? Yeah, you're happy now, aren't you? I give you a primo land. Alright, that's good. Anyhow, that's a good spot for us to stop here. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a great one.